Hello and welcome. My name is Chris. My handle is Monte Vaca, and this is my uh, Unity 3D scripting tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to focus on uh, scripting uh, first person object interactions, uh, largely on selecting objects through the first person view without the help of a the position of your mouse cursor like most uh most tutorials out there right now if you're trying to select an object they're using like on mouse enter and on mouse exit which is kind of hard for someone you can't really do that in uh if you're trying to make a first person game so uh, that's what I'm going to be focusing on today, and uh, this is going to be largely a scripting tutorial. Uh, I'm going to assume a at least a base level knowledge with Unity 3D. I'm not going to go over how to really create objects or anything like that. Um, so uh, let's get started. Uh, first thing th we're going to do is I've got a scene already here. Uh, just if I run it, there's just uh, a. <laughs> Uh, my first person move here and uh, some ground and a a square a, a cube in the uh, world uh, what we want to do is try to interact with that cube select that cube and do something to that cube uh, first before we get started on the actual scripting what we're going to want to do is the way we're going to do this is uh, select via a, a crosshairs in the middle of the uh, screen uh, we can do this via uh, through scripting but there's going to be no actual like uh, visual representation in the, through the script so we're, what we're going to want to do is actually create a crosshairs for the user so that he can actually see where the the uh, the where we're going to be selecting from so first things first what we're going to want to do is uh, add a a gooey texture I've already got a crosshairs texture made up, so we're just going to attach it to the texture. And it's all stretched out, so let's fix the dimensions. I'm going to say 15 by 15. And no offsets. No offsets. <coughs> and that should be right in the middle, it looks like. Okay. Let's run this, and yep. That's not too bad. Okay. So that's now that that's taken care of, what we want to do now is oh, let's rename this so that we don't uh, lose track of it. So we're going to call this crosshair. Okay. What we want to do now is create a script that is going to uh, cast a ray out of the middle of our screen where a crosshair is and detect any hits uh, with that ray. So first we're going to create a new C sharp script. Let's call this so oh, rename. Let's call this select. Okay, open this up. First things first, let's rename this select. And the first thing we're going to do with this is we're, we're going to add a public variable. Public. This is going to be a physics object, the uh, raycast hit. This is going to be the what tells us anything that we hit when we cast a ray out from the middle of our screen. Uh, now we're going to want to go down here to the update function. What we're going to want to do is create a ray, which uh, we're going to want to create a ray from the middle of our screen. So we're going to do ray, we're just going to call it ray, and we'll do camera dot main dot screen point. Uh, don't forget to capitalize to ray and the position of our ray is going to be a new vector 3 and our parameters for that is going to be the first one's going to be screen dot width and we're going to divide that by 2 so that it'll be in the middle and then the next one's going to be screen dot height. 
We're also going to divide that by 2 for the same reason. And z axis is just going to be 0. So we close that up. Okay, so that's the position of the ray, but we still need to cast the ray. And to do that, well, what we're going to first do is we're going to create an if statement. So what we're going to do in this if statement is cast the ray, and if it collides with anything, we're going to do something to that collided object. So first we're going to do physics dot ray cast and inside we're going to do the ray and then we're going to pass by result our ray cast hit uh, uh, variable that we made up there hits and we're going to say within 10 uh, I think that's meters or I'm actually not sure on the actual distance in unity but um so just to make sure this works, we're just going to do a quick debug statement. Debug log. We're just going to say hit. So if we save this, hopefully we won't get any errors. Uh, we do get an error. Let's see what we got wrong here. Debug. Debug. Ah, debug dot log. Yeah, let's problem. Clear this. Okay, so no errors. We're going to attach this select script to our player, and we're going to run. And now when we look at the object, we get a little a debug message hit. It will actually work as well with if we looked at the ground, because the ground is just a large sphere as well with a collider. Any collider it hits, it's going to generate that. So now that we've got that, what we're going to want to do is actually do something when it hits that. So I'm going to create a, a activate script here. What I think I want to do with this is actually change the, the color of the box when we select it so that it kind of highlights it a little bit. So we're going to just do interact as our script. So let me copy the name so I don't misspell it. This will be our new script. Paste. Okay, save. And then what we're going to add, we're going to add a new function to it. We're going to call it public void on look enter and what we're going to do is just do render dot material dot color going to equal to red. What this should do, oh sorry, color dot red. What this should do is when we mouse over it and activate it, once, uh, once we've actually uh, activated in our select script, it should change the thing, it should change our object to red. All right now if we run it, it's going to do nothing. Just act like normal, the hit value. That's because what we need to do is come back here and then under ray cast script, what we need to add is we're going to need to reference our uh, ray cast hit value and get its collider. And then from the collider, get its game object. And then call get component on that game object. And we're going to look for our interact script. 
we're gonna look for the method on look enter in that interact script and call it so hopefully we have no errors what this should do is just don't see any errors so we run it and when we look at that it changes its red it changes it to red and we're going to see two problems with this right off. Uh, the first one is once we move off of it, it is still red. We kind of would like to, once we're no longer selecting it, turn it back to white. And then we also see an error at the bottom. Um, I'm going to go into both of these problems uh, in the next. I'm going to stop here because I think I'm getting close to the, the minute mark. Um, uh, but I'm going to go into the errors on this on the second part of this video. So... Uh, I'll see you then. Okay.